ZTPCTGCE. Oh, sorry, we don't have any ZTPCTGCEs and stuff. Yeah. Now. We just have ZTPCTG and stuff. <laughs> ZTPCTGCE. <laughs> hey, that's an exclusive model. HMS exclusive ZTPCTGCE. So today we have five different pickups that we're gonna try. Yeah, yeah. Um, we did a similar uh, demo a few years back, but. We've adjusted the offering a little bit, and one of them is uh, brand new for us that you can get in any ukulele from us, the Anui Nui Air Air, and that's a dual system, under saddle and microphone, and we really like it. It's, it's great. It's I called Air Air? <laughs> or is yeah. it like Air Squared? <laughs> or is it just Air Air? <laughs> yeah, they like to just kind of, you know. That's cool. Double up, Nui Nui Air Air. So like the new Michael Jordan Air Airs. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we just discussed it and we decided that we are going to um, blindfold ourselves and then we'll reveal afterwards what's what. But yeah, um, you guys will kind of be blindfolded. It's with like us. the Pepsi challenge, but we got f- Pepsi, uh, Coke, Safeway, uh, some kind of thing that says cola. Because you have to like kind of look into your mind. <laughs> Oh, is the amp on? Okay, so uh, turn all the uh, effects off. So basically with the different um, output levels, I mean, that's one of the things you can control with um, your amp or your PA or whatever like that, right? But then just for this demo, let's keep the volume at the same to also... um, analyze you know them by how much power you're getting from each but um i don't know maybe we'll do a demo after where we kind of go over you know adjustments that because a a lot of it is finding what works for that pickup so you know with a certain pickup you might want to cut the mids a little bit and you got to boost up the gain a little bit to get a little more you know body to it or something but um you know this is just to kind of compare them as as evenly as possible there was much juice there huh? yeah it, it did sound like uh we, we we turned the amp low I'll plug it in. so that it could handle but or you know but there was a clean tone though yeah all right power on it's a lot more power
some would describe as nasally. Yeah. Up, you think so? Up, up, just like super yeah. up close. But uh, when I I was I was t- I take it off and put it back on. But maybe just the actual uh, signal from the amp is uh, on that one was a little bit nasally. But it sounded better without the headphones on. I thought. And, oh uh, yeah. Well, we're getting more of the amp signal probably through our headphones mm. than. Um, but than right away, c- just comparing to the first one, it was definitely louder right off the bat right well it, it's kind of a one of those areas where like like if i was working the eq on it i would have probably bumped up the highs a touch you know mm. or maybe cut the mids a touch because yeah the mids are a little bit heavy yeah i guess but sometimes that's cool Move number three power on is the power on Getting a wide variety of of gain levels, huh? Definitely. And maybe this is something we can, um, sorry, I just... (laughs) no way that one's active but um but yeah if you bump up you know like three notches on the volume right i think that's something like, we can do afterwards is, yeah we, is, we should do that it's kind of shape it or how, how we would want to hear it but uh, maybe we can do that when you do your demo okay cool. kind of like try to match levels right at the same time predict a, a louder tone than three and four on this one yeah or else something maybe <laughs> i kicked a knob down there it's like i'm not even looking at my levels right now
so this is the air air so the gain is is a little less than a quarter but I would probably come up on that yeah yeah let's so, get a, a hotter, yeah that's a good signal and then this is with the um they're both the mic and the under saddle is both at full volume No. What are you talking about? Oh, 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 oh the, the blind thing. Yeah, no. yeah, so I feel like maybe that might be a little hot on the tri on the treble or something. What do you think? Yeah. So we come down. I thought it was making a weird noise, but it was Corey peeling tape <laughs> off his face. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that's uh, both all the way up. But if we come down on the mic a oh, little yeah. bit. Why don't you take the mic all the way down? All the way up. Just to hear the difference. So this is just the undersaddle. Mm. Then bleed in about a uh, quarter away with the mic. So let's do the active ones next to each other. <laughs> Did I do that too much? All the way up. <laughs> All the way up. <laughs> Number two. Okay. Uh, gain a quarter. Master. Halfway. Just like the air air. And it is consistent that it has more juice. I'll probably come down on the gain just a little bit, huh? just have more string attack right like you hear this i don't know to me the the, the my side almost feels like certain frequencies need to come down a little bit you know on the top end mm, it, it gets it a little thumpy in the low mids too though Again, so like i, I don't think to settle down <laughs> i don't think that would serve a player that plays with a pick that well like the way oh, Corey yeah. plays sometimes that probably wouldn't be your mm. best option because now you're gonna get that enhanced yeah for sure. So this, oh, sorry, this number, f uh, is this the way, the order that you went? No. Well, no, no but um, what is it? this is the, the next No, this is fine. The active, that's active, right. Active, yeah, sorry. so we wanted to try the actives all next to each other. Sorry. This is exactly what you asked for in, uh, to cut from the my side. <laughs> yeah, so again, the gain is, oh, well, sorry, I have the I have the gain exactly where the uh, my side was, which we turned just the hair down from yeah, a quarter. So go, but if I go back up to it. where we were at with the at a nui nui. So we got it at quarter on the gain, master at half. It's really warm, huh? Yeah, super See, warm. I almost need to come down again. Hot. 
I would almost like come up a hair on the treble for that pickup. But, well, yeah. I would turn down the bass just a little bit. Oh yeah, either bass. or yeah, right. And then let's touch a little treble. Yeah. A little bit of the mids down too. So turn down the bass and mids just a little bit. It's a pretty nice replication of the acoustic tone. Yeah, it's a it's a good workable tone. Wait, grab the mice I want again and do that, or maybe even more exaggerated, cut those mids like that, because I think that'll help that. Yeah, see, that already sounds better. Yeah. But so the same thing, but maybe now we can actually, maybe not bump yeah, up the yeah, bass. Yeah, the high. The high is good, maybe come down to... Come down. Uh, so yeah. I got this little less than halfway in the treble. Maybe back up a touch. Yeah. Oh, try cut the mids a little bit more. That's almost all the way off. And the bass I hear. That's, I mean, that's probably more what I would do with it. Still doesn't sound as true to the acoustic sound as the Anui Nui or the bags to me. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, but I, it, it's I, a I nice feel, sound. It's, I feel yeah. like it suits a certain type of mm. player, you know. Like the, the, my side is kind of the power pickup. Mm. Yeah. Power. I mean, sometimes people really want to hear those. Oh, yeah. And so when you do something yeah. really, really fast like that, all those attacks matter now rather mm. than when you have something with without that high gain string attack, it you have to push harder yourself rather mm. than still being super light because like, I'm barely the, touching the, this, but now you can The hear. notes blend together more on other, yeah. Yeah. So I feel like a yeah, get that nice separation. Okay, so now we're gonna try the two passives again, but actually uh, work with the levels to like, you know, go for similar levels that you were getting from those actives, and um, and we can just compare the tone. Okay, I put it back to gain at a quarter and master at half, and the EQ is back right down the middle. Which means halfway and everything. Oh yeah, so come up on the master volume. So this is where it's tricky with these though. It's like it already has that sound where when you just turn up, it feels like it's gonna feed back with the type of sound that you're getting. So this is uh the gain at a quarter and master at about seventy. So well, let's bump the highs maybe, or uh, cut the mids a little bit. Cut the mids, yeah. And a little bit of the lows. And so then I cut the mids. So mids is at 25. And then uh, try come up almost all the way with the master volume, and and you might need to cut the gain a touch. But. So this is about full on master. What is that? The K and K. Oh, so let's let's turn down the master and let's see what a little bit more gain will bring. Yeah, that might make it worse, but yeah. So we got gain at about halfway. Uh, that's, that's a little bit better. Let's cut down the highs too, maybe. Ooh, no. Not really, huh? Um, no, and and it's like we're not. That's it's what it's like the highs if, boost. If, if we had a full EQ system to work with, where we could choose the frequencies and stuff, we could probably zero out that oh yeah it's a little bit better so say so like the resonance is going to be really long with the k and k's because it it's just basically waiting for the sound to stop right i mean it's it's something stuck where yeah it's it's, it's a soundboard transducer there on the top picking up the vibrations and um it's kind of like the most, I mean, you know, this one comes in, the, uh, it's the most affordable one by far, but it, it, um, 
it's also the most problematic for feedback and um, it's it's a little tough to dial it in and you know and, and, and get a, a really nice sound Zach seemed to have improved it quite a bit there just yeah so this is knobs. what I feel like the it's the best uh, placement so far So this is actually with the lows kind of boosted. So the lows are about 70% and the mids and treble is right up the middle. Hmm. Gains at about uh, 25 and the masters at about 70. If you, you know, ever want to feel like you're playing in a tunnel. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> It totally sounds like you're. It sounds like you're inside of the ukulele. <laughs> yeah, it kind of like, kind of like this though. Yeah. It kind of like close something closed, not completely open. But hey, man, sometimes you can only afford a big island spot. <laughs> so this one is the Pono passive, and um, it doesn't work in in every type of uke because it. It's like uh, it takes a drop saddle and also it takes a pretty deep drop saddle. So like the Kanilea is a drop saddle, for example, but it's not, uh, you know, it's something where you have to route it out even deeper if you want to put the Pono passive in. But but for the Pono instruments, you know, I always, if anybody's ever getting a big island spot with their Pono, I usually try to... Upgrade, yeah. Yeah, well, just, yeah, try to get it's, them to consider the Pono. It's like the k and need some afrin and once you take some afrin you get the pono sound <laughs> i don't even know what that is afrin it's a decongest nasal oh. decongestant oh. So, and uh so, so yeah, i feel um, like the k and k is a little bit nasal compared to bump out the gain a little bit. so right now it's back to the normal um gain at a quarter master at a half and everything else straight up so we'll just bump the gain i'd say yeah put the gain up a bit and the master up a bit Okay, this is uh, a touch of each up. Sounds really natural. Yeah, so nice. I feel like the EQ doesn't need to be messed with mm -hmm. too much with the Pono. And that's what's really good about it. It's a nice, uh, clean signal so that even if you were to go into a different amp, like you're going to get probably get a truer tone most of the time. Yeah. Um, when I passive. used to do sound Ooh. at higher ground, um, we'd have ukulele nights, and there's a few people that had a Pono passive, but going from the Pono passive into like a bags, um, I don't know if I was I. using, the, maybe I was using the venue already by then, but yeah, I mean, one of those, yep. it was just like, oh, this is the sound. Yeah. That's my favorite passive pickup. Maybe a little less than me. Just a touch. Come up on the master a touch too. And brighten it up. close out with another um sound sample of Corey and if you can play the same thing what I want to do is try to chop it the way that we do so let's uh Zach if you can stand on one side and then Billy feeds it <laughs> so he well yeah screen. exactly yeah. but but from there if you can adjust the um the amp to get about the same levels yeah so we can okay. have a cons uh, steady yeah. volume level but different exactly gotcha. right
yeah so that's the five pickups and um let us know what you think i don't know if we really did that test uh you know it's really hard well. <laughs> just because you know we're trying to oh thank you capture all of them without you know um tr trying to sh we're not trying to diss any of the 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 pickups but no i mean we carry them <laughs> We offer them for a reason because, but like, it's, for instance, at, at least at this point in time, like uh, a, that K and K cost somebody sixty four dollars installed, you know. So right, because sometimes how you many might not even can be that cheap. The installation is that much with a lot of stores, you know. I've talked to a lot of people who don't even know if they really will use it, but they want the option. But I just feel like. When you have that option, I mean, if you can, if you can afford to the to the Pono Passive, it I just feel like, why not get the the Pono Passive? But sometimes there's a certain sound to the K and K that I can see, you know, people maybe liking a, a a type a boxy type tone or or something a little bit different. I don't know. I think it works best in instruments that are kind of tighter, like um. You know how like koalohas can get, can get kind of boomy? Well, that's all accentuated with that type right. of a soundboard transducer that it has. So like if certain frequencies kind of punch out a little bit much, like it's only going it, to be... be problematic. You could even hear Corey on that um, last one. There was like one note that just like just jumps out. <laughs> it's like, whoa, you know, and um, and I'd say like the Pono is kind of in the middle, you know, between uh, it's it's a nice balance, but it um, picks up all the, you know, the strings really well, like a really um, balanced volume level across like every single string. Even like it's almost the, sounds like the bags without the power without, yeah. it, you know, I mean, you got to turn the volume up a little bit more, but it's not um, too much difference after you boost from your you know the preamp on your amp because it doesn't have a preamp you know in the uke but um what did you guys think of the new pickup the anui nui i think it's nice i mean you have to have the option to just to blend yeah. uh, those two tones is it's pretty unique and uh i think w when you plug in your instrument into different places i feel like sometimes that's that'll all change like you can like your uh, you can like the blend in a certain room, but I, I almost guarantee it, it, it won't work for every room. But that's what's cool. I don't know. Kalei said like he switched all of his instruments to that. To the air. To the air pickup. And, so that's and, all he owns now. For and him. he actually said even playing live and playing with, um, you know, like Iron Mango is kind of like they rock out. They play pretty loud and stuff. He said he's still cutting in that mic live, which mm -hmm. is like, wow. You know, I mean, but uh, there's probably times where he'll like cut it back it's um, crazy how he doesn't get any feedback from it too from i think there must be like a roll off on it like uh or it I, I know it's like a pressure sensitive mic so i think as it gets uh you know more power it it's able to kind of compress itself but um the anui nui's that we were first getting that i got to first try that pickup through they're really powerful ukes you know so the fact that it was like handling those frequencies with a nice balance was like, oh, and I do feel like you get some more brightness from the mic in terms of like note clarity. If yeah, you're... like instead of <laughs> boosting your like treble on your EQ and stuff, yeah, um, it that mic makes it so you don't have to even touch your treble. Maybe even you might have to cut it because it's so bright, but it's like a different kind of bright. It and feels we... like it hits like the really high frequencies mm. yeah the ones that are like it's it's a subtle thing when you get up you know to like 20k and those sort of frequencies it's like um I, we were running it dry but like i think with like a, a little bit of reverb that would be really oh, nice yeah. to blend in you yeah know, i think the overall like, natural sound once you get from it one subtle uh, note is that that's an aer which is actually a pretty high-end acoustic amp oh, all handmade in germany so i not, mean you know this this not this, the highest end but it's a, it's a pretty good decent acoustic no amp. right Very but i'm a reputable I'm, brand I'm, all we're saying i guess is that um you know oh, that, what you play yeah what you plug into this thing could sound totally different 
depending on what you have, you know, what you're plugging into. But um, this is a pretty good acoustic amp we were working with, and you know, I thought that that sure probably helped the tones a little bit too, as well in the overall grand scheme of the. Yeah. I mean, so you know, if you're investing in like a high end uke, you're getting one of these, you know nicer pickups put in it it's like the other factor that's like half of the you know equation is going to be what you're running into a good amp or pa system is is key to the whole you know thing coming together um what you guys think of the i don't know the my side to me it, it sounded a bit syrupy but it did have the power <laughs> yeah I think that's the powerful. first time I heard therapy as a oh, really? as an adjective of sound. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I don't know if I've used it before. Yet. I I don't think I've ever heard therapy, but I know what it's you a mean. Good alternative to wet. <laughs> wet, <laughs> but but no, it's thicker. You know, the <laughs> slippery wet. Yeah. Blood is thicker than water. It's a slippery wet. It didn't sound as like just that raw acoustic tone as the other two. Um, like to me, the uh, the bags, the Anui Nui, and the Pono pickup all have a very natural sound. You know. Yeah, the Pono um, pickup for a passive one is really really natural. I was talking to your dad about it, and he's like, "Yeah, Martin's been using it since like 1968 for their, you know, guitars and stuff." Oh really? Yeah. That that it's that individual crystal, um, for each string, yeah. that. I think just ends up being better than any of the like full strip passive styles I've tried from fish fishmen or different people, you know? Yeah. All right. Well, I hope this wasn't too boring. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's like the kind of thing you watch when you're trying to decide what pickup to get. But. Yeah. I mean, I think we can, get, we can get it better, you know, if we did it again, but it's also kind of part of the process to kind of see how it gets to, you know, yeah to see us you know fool around with the knobs sometimes you have to do that i mean you got to yeah. understand what you're working with and that, that's half the battle is you know knowing how to shape a, a tone uh with with you know with a three band eq and a gain and a master all those things kind of actually they matter um yeah and when, it's kind of trying to find it, a, a it's good not sound. like we could give you the formula either because that depends on the amp yeah you know yeah. and and what you want to hear mm -hmm. yeah but it was fun. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Wait, wait.